Hello. In this video, we will learn how to create a program, text the user to explain how the program works, request data from the user, use an if then else statement, and we will display the information for the user. We will be studying the Pythagorean theorem. In this program, the user will enter three side lengths of a potential right triangle, A, B, and C. If A squared plus B squared equals C squared, we'll have it tell the user that they have the side lengths of a right triangle. If A squared plus B squared does not equal C squared, we will have it display that it is not a right triangle. Let's begin by selecting number one for new document, number nine for add program editor, and number one new. An appropriate name for this would be right triangle. And then I'll tab on down and select OK. We are now in the body of our program. As this program deals with right triangles and we use A, B, and C, to represent the side length, we will localize the variables A, B, and C. We'll go to Menu, Number 3, Define Variables, and we can choose Number 1, Local. And we will localize A, comma, B, comma, C, the three variables we will request from the user later on in the program. Press enter to get to the next line. We now want to text the user to explain how this program will work. We'll go to menu, and because we want something to display on the screen, that's an input output for the user, number six, and text is number five. We'll put in quotes, control, multiplication, and again, anything that appears in these quotes will appear on the screen for the user to read. We will type in, enter A, B, and C, make sure that C is the longest side, enter. We now need to request data from the user. The request command can be found in menu, Again, an input output, and request is number three. Control multiplication gets our quotes, and we can write something as simple as A equals. We right arrow once to get outside the quotes, we put a comma in, and we must put in a variable for which this data will be stored. I'll select A. I'll press enter to get to the next line. You can either repeat that process or type in request, and as soon as you get to the T in request, it recognizes that command, and you can just simply type in the code. And again, once more, for the C equals, and then press enter after your third line of request. Once we have collected the data from the user, we are ready to insert a if-then-else statement. That can be found by going to Menu and selecting number 4, Control. If-then-else statements are number 3, and that puts the if-then-else and the end-if statement within the body of our program. We can now type in the Pythagorean theorem for our if. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Get to the end of the line, hit enter, and we need a display. So if this is true, menu, number six for input output, number one, display, control, multiplication to get our quotes, you have 
a right triangle. We can then scroll down and after the else statement we can put in another display by pressing menu number six input output number one putting in our quotes you do not have a right triangle. We are now ready to check syntax for our program. We can go to menu, number two, check syntax and store, and select number one to check syntax. At the top, you should see the name of your code, and it should be stored successfully. If not, figure out what might have gone wrong. We are now ready to run this program. We could go to menu, select number two, check syntax and store, and run is option three, or again, control R is that shortcut. It takes us to the next page, 1.2, and when we press enter, we're ready to run our program right triangle. Enter A, B, and C, make sure that C is the longest side. I'll press enter. I'll go with a three, four, five, as I know that should result in a right triangle. I'll put in three for A, four for B, five for C, and it confirms you have a right triangle. I'm going to run the program again by simply pressing enter, enter A, B, and C, Make sure that C is the longest side. I'll go with 5, 12, 15. You do not have a right triangle. Our program works as it should.